Okay, we're starting Hezbear 5 2 in Brachot, Daf Yudalit Amad Aleph, Perik Sheni called Hakore. And Rabbah teaches us the following related to what we just talked about, making interruptions during the recitation of Hal and Megillah. Amar Rabbah, Rabbah said, Yamim Sheyachid Gomer Behen at the Halal. On days where an individual is to complete the entire Halal, that means Halal Shalem, we'll talk about that in a moment. Ben Perik Le Perik Posek. Between, in between paragraphs, one is allowed to make an interruption. Be'em Tzah Perik, but in the middle of the paragraph, in the midst of the paragraph, in a Posek, he's not allowed to make an interruption if he's in the middle of the paragraph. The Yamim She'ein Hayachid Gomer Bahen Et Halal, and on days where Yachid is not required to recite a full Halal, Afilu Be'em Haperek posek that even in the middle of the paragraph, in the midst of the paragraph, he's allowed to make an interruption. So, I guess what we need to first to f- find out is when does one say a full halal? What are they talking about a full halal? And what are we talking about uh, when you don't have to say full halal? So I want to first turn your attention to a Rashi. So I want you to look at a Rashi on the top right part of your Gemara. Yamim shayachid gomer behenet halal. Days when a person is supposed to complete, komer, complete the halal. What are shehu chova, where is an obligation, l'chol adam, for every person, v'heim echad v'esrim yom, bashana. There are 21 days a year that one is re- required to recite a full halal. 21 days a year. Now we're talking about chutz la'aretz, because in as it is stated in Mesech the Erechin, if you want to look up where this is, you go to Gemara Erechin, Daf Yud, and the little dot tells you it's Amit Aleph, and it will tell you the 21 days in which we are required to say a complete halal. Now what I can add to this is, we definitely only say a half a halal, not a complete halal, on Rosh Chodesh, and we'll learn more about why that is in class. Um, and on certain holidays, we obviously say a complete halal. Um, your job in class will be to come up that list of 21 days in which we say a full halal. What is certainly clear from this little piece of Gemara is that on days that we have to recite a full halal, it seems to have a stricter has stricter rules connected to it, and therefore it's only in between the paragraphs that one may make an interruption. But on days where we're not required to say a full halal, then there seems to be more leniency to even allow you to make an interruption in the midst of the paragraph. What I also find fascinating here is that Rabbah does not talk about Megillah. He's only talking about halal. What do you think about that? 